All right, hey everybody, welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper where we make prepping fun. We're going in for another shopping video at all D. I will see you guys on the inside. Hey guys, it's Jennifer Chappelle with Heart Speak Warriors Forum. I hope you're enjoying all of the entertainment that you're getting right here on Plant Based Homestead Prepper with my honey, Roderick Chappelle. When you're done, pop over to my channel at Heart Speak Warriors Forum, where we will take ordinary people and listen to their extraordinary stories. Hope to see you guys there. So you guys know I can't pass up 39 cents avocados. Y'all know I can't pass those up, right? So I'm gonna grab several. And we will eat avocados for like <laughs> two weeks if we have to. But I cannot pass up a 39 cents avocado. That's just never. That will never, ever, ever happen. Okay? Ne when I say never, I mean never. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now when I'm normally paying, you know, a dollar, 95 cents for them. See, the price of oranges went up in a week. They were $2.99 last week. They're $3.79 this week. I have oranges, pineapples. Ooh, price of pineapples jumped to $2.19. All right, let's see what's over here in the greenery. Who was saying they, they couldn't find carrots? Somebody was telling me last week they couldn't find carrots somewhere. All right, we got grapes. Uh, let's see here, carrots. Lettuce. I think we're gonna be eating leafy this week. Oh, spinach is 99 cents a bag. Yeah, we'll grab some of that. Eat some, eat some good salads tonight. Uh, I don't think we have the well, tomatoes on the other side. So I'll grab some of these. This is a great snack for our dogs too. Uh, carrots, the pups love these. So I'll grab a bag for them, for their treats and I'll grab a bag for us. All right, great prep item, but I don't hardly ever buy nuts from here. I never even looked at the prices. Dollar eighty nine for peanuts, mixed nuts four fifteen. Uh, I got a good little blessing. I was I was walking. I normally don't get a cart like this, but the lady's like free card. I was like, oh, that's blessing. Yeah, yeah, I take that. All right, uh, let's see here. We get another thing of these saltines right here. All right, so that's going to be a prep for us right there. The rest of this stuff is stuff we, that we're going to be eating this week, just so you guys know. All right, let's see if they have any guacamole. I love their pre-prepared mojo, but I, uh, I'd rarely buy it because usually I make my own. I'm going to grab some chips today, too. Uh, I love their chips because they have the right hint of salt. And I think that... These are better for dipping, these ones, but I think these taste better. Since we're gonna be doing guac, probably gonna go with these. When I'm doing nachos, I like these the best. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And they're cheap, it's 89 cents. So that's just, this is this is just stuff that I'm buying for the house. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get a bag of these too. But this is stuff I'm buying for the house. Now, let's get into some of our preps. All right, so I told you guys last week after, um, to find out what did I find out about? I can't remember what it was. Y'all just stay tuned. Hi, I'm Christina, and you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, remember your prep alerts are your spices. Okay, you can never, ever, ever, ever have enough spices. And it was something that we ran out of at my house. I couldn't believe that we actually ran out of it. Um, this is something I absolutely love right here, grits. And now we have grits at home. Oh, those are quick grits. Those are five minute grits. Oatmeal, okay, another good prep item. It's gonna fill you up. Um, but really with oatmeal and grits and stuff like that, you really need something that's going to flavor and season them, whether it's salt or pepper, sugar something but <laughs> look at here marshmallow and stars so i guess that's a knockoff of uh <laughs> oh look cocoa puffs that's cool i guess that's a knockoff of lucky charms of course oils um prep alert you can make a, a candle out of this right here okay let's 
see what sugar price is. Sugar price is looking like a dollar thirty-seven. Looks like that went up a little bit too. Not, I want to say it was dollar fifteen last week. So you see the sugar prices have gone up. All right, let's check out the next aisle. Okay, so let's check out the prices on meats. Okay, two forty nine for sausages. Bologna, a dollar nineteen. Three ninety nine for whatever that is. That says Lebanon bologna. Okay. Uh, cheeses, dollar sixty nine, dollar forty eight. Okay, cool. And let's see if we can go down here and get some prices without getting in trouble. Pizza's $5.99, for cheese. Alright, so meats are looking like salmon. Ooh, 16 dinners. $7.69. Uh, pork chops, $1.99 a pound. $3.69 for ground beef. Uh, Dollar sixty nine a pound for thighs. Dollar eighty nine for breasts. Two twenty nine for breasts. Two seventy nine for tenderloins. Leg quarters or dollar twenty nine a pound. Okay. All right. Bacon. Bacon two eighty nine. Two eighty nine. Three forty nine. And these are sixteen ounce scrapple, which is some disgusting stuff. Uh, and we're rolling. Oh, eggs are 49 cents a dozen. I think I'm gonna grab some of these because a lot of times Jennifer will cook these for the dogs. Yep, 49 cents a dozen is not bad. I'll grab a couple dozen here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Mm. Oh, they got coconut milk. I didn't even realize that. $1.99. Okay, okay. Jennifer is allergic to coconut, so I can't buy that for her. But I can definitely get it. And then they have a soy milk. Okay, for $1.99. We can grab one more of these. Actually, we'll probably get two more of these. Jennifer cooks these for the pups, which is amazing. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys on the outside. Maybe. We'll go down this one more out. Okay, guys, we're going to the toy section. I'm in the toy section. Y'all know we're, kid, we're kids at heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to come over here and see. This is pretty cool. Space Invaders. I haven't seen this in forever. They got Frogger. That'd be a cool gift for Roderick. I'll play it one time and then it'll be it. I promise you. Got harmonicas. Yeah, that's gonna be about it. My shopping excursion is over. I do need a few more prep items. So we're gonna go over here and check out. See what we got as far as prep items. Uh, I was looking for coffee. I wanted to see what coffee prices looked like. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't see any coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna start buying some cereal up in here though, because they have these knockoff cereals. And they are cheap. Dollar, okay, can we all let's show you guys? So you got shredded wheat for a dollar thirty-nine, honey grams for dollar ninety-nine, uh, crispy oats for a dollar nineteen. All kind of stuff. So dollar fifteen. I mean, this stuff is really cheap. Then you got cornflakes, which is like I guess that's a knockoff brand of cornflakes. Ninety nine cents. You can't beat that. Uh, I love oatmeal. All right, which is a great prep item. You can always, you know, prep this kind of stuff. And it's a it's a meal in a pack basically. You can boil your water, pour it off into the uh, 
into the package and actually eat it out of the little package. A lot of people don't realize and know that, but you can do that, okay? So we're gonna do the maple brown and we're gonna do the, and this is gonna be a prep item and something we're gonna be able to um, eat constantly because Jennifer's always like, why don't we have food that we can just eat? <laughs> so here you go, Jen, this is what we're gonna do. Jennifer loves these, well, she don't love these. She like Pop-Tarts without the, the stuff on them, the uh, frosting. Okay, that's about it for now. Okay. Uh, I was looking for some marshmallows. I don't see any marshmallows. I don't see any coffee. I'm gonna run around one more time, see if we can find some coffee. If you haven't subscribed to Plant-Based Homestead Prepper yet, please do that now. After the video, come on by Grim Survival, where I will show you the grim side of survival, including actual footage of how bad the harvest season has been this year. Because we're in a food shortage doesn't mean that every store is still short okay remember that so I'm walking around looking for some coffee I haven't seen any yet these are little snacks so I'm back in the snack aisle right now we got the crackers cookies okay I don't see any coffee I see plenty of wines okay now we're going back over here to the area of Salsas. All right, let's see. Do I want any? I don't think I like their salsa. Cause I tried it and I was like, yeah, need a little bit more something. Oh, much more something. One thing I do love about all this, they give you a good so, uh, selection and variety of organics. That's one thing I do like about all of these. I have not seen any, um, yeah, I'm seeing the coffee. This is one aisle, I hardly ever go down. Right here, we're gonna try this. We're gonna grab some of this, cause we both like this stuff, right? Yeah, we like this. Okay, so I'm not trying to push any brands, but to make your clothes smell really good, and I know this is this is nowhere close to organic or anything that's gonna be great for the environment, but that stuff is amazing. And we're still living right now, which is what I keep telling you guys, you gotta live right now as well. Okay, great prep item. I'm not gonna get into this, but this stuff right here is gonna be a great prep item. Now, I don't know what the shelf life of it is. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you know, I know it has alcohol in it, so it could evaporate, but great prep item. Another great prep item right here. Cure tips, all right? Awesome prep item. And feminine hygiene products are gonna be great. Um, not only for ladies, but also for stopping blood or reducing blood loss. Go there. Oh, open up my brain. All right, let's go down here. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, let's go down here. One more pass and see. I don't see any coffee. So I was looking for some coffee. I found some coffee the other day in, uh, I think I was in Ollie's, Ollie's. And I paid $1.99 for it. And I was thinking about it because Knife Collector was like, if you get the coffee that's already in the little bricks vacuum seal that lasts forever oh i see the coffee up here all right because coffee is not something we wouldn't normally drink i rarely even know how to find coffee in a store so let's see if they have any of those yeah. little bricks uh here's one i don't really like the way it's kind of sealed it seems like it has too much air in it this one uh french vanilla and if i was gonna buy something for us at the house i don't even know how to honestly i don't know how to brew coffee Unless it's in these little cups right here. <laughs> I guess you could feel that. I mean, I did it for my mom when I was a kid and stuff. But I haven't, I haven't, because we don't drink coffee, it's just one of those things that, you know, that you lose. I don't know what all this noise is in. Oh, we're being silly. Okay. And you gotta watch people when you're out and, and they're being silly and stuff because they sound like uh, they're doing some stuff that they don't need to be doing. All right, so two forty nine for a big, big old huge thing is how much is this? This is a pound of coffee, and it makes two hundred and forty six ounce cups for four seventy nine. I don't know if that's a great price or not. Hundred percent Colombian is five fifty nine. Okay, so for my coffee drinkers, there you go. I'm gonna grab some of this for Jennifer. 
because my baby loves okay she loves 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 hot chocolate so we're gonna grab some of that for her all right here's another great prep item okay not only will it is it good for filtering items i mean filtering uh coffee but you can use this to filter water as well okay and we don't have any of these i'm not going to buy any of these today we will uh we're going to take our chances and I like, to, I like to buy prep items that, that have multiple purposes, too. I don't know if you guys realize that or not. But, you know, try to, try to get your prep items where you have multiple purposes. All right, I'm just going to check the aisle that stuff that we like to eat, which I don't like this brand, so I never buy any of this right here. I don't like their brand. All right, let's check our ham, see what the ham is. Dollar nineteen a pound. So a ham is going to cost you $16.30 for a big old ham and a turkey what about smoked turkeys are five dollars off today that's great i'm not buying a smoked turkey but i'm just going to say check the price mm, okay fully cooked dollar 99 a pound that's not bad for a fully cooked turkey okay so that's this one and it is twenty three dollars and sixteen cents here's your shrimp for you Crustacean ears. How much is it? King Crabs was $17.99. And you know what? I don't even have to buy bags. I could buy bags, but I can get this stuff home and then just drag it in that way, especially since I have a cart. Thank you. Yes, I'm not going to buy a bag. I'll see y'all on the outside. All right, so I'm leaving out. And I got a whole entire cart of food. I'm going to show you guys what I have. I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in prep. I'm going to show you what we eat because a lot of you guys like. Plant-based homestead prepper, what do you eat? So guess what? Uh... Ooh, hey, this is Roderick Chappelle for Plant-Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look at here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian, and uh, we're working together with uh, with Roderick's channel to uh, to get things going. So, uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel, check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for uh, for the plant-based homestead prepper. We we make prepping fun, guys. So uh, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's Most Wanted. But anyway, <laughs> y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. so here we go <clears throat> and i didn't even know they, they had this little paper available this shows you what's going to be on sale next week so i saw the guy in front of me pick up one i was like and it says next week i was like oh wow reading is truly fundamental <laughs> all right so this week looks like we're going to be eating a bunch of avocados which is normal uh so i got two two different brands you know types of chips we got the round chips and we have the restaurant style which is the little triangle uh, we got some eggs that we'll fix for the dogs. Jennifer will fix some of those for the for the pups. Uh, prep slash going to eat this kind of stuff right here. Okay. Uh, instant oatmeal. So those are prep items. Scallops are going to go into preps. These kidney beans are going into preps. All right. This sauce is going into preps. And then the stuff we're going to be eating this week, we'll be eating some avocados. Like I said, this is going to go into preps. All right, Jennifer's going to be drinking some hot cocoa. This is going to go into preps, and we're going to eat, we're going to eat some salads, and we'll eat some. Well, we'll do some laundry. <laughs> there you go. So we got some salad stuff, avocados, and we will we will put some oatmeal and stuff like that into our diet now. But we're also going to uh, put away some of that for preps because we don't eat a whole bunch of oatmeal. And then those crackers. I'm gonna try my hand at uh, at vacuum sealing and or canning. I can't remember which somebody somebody gave me the idea. So we're gonna try it this week and we're gonna see. So the total I spent on this stuff, I think I lost my receipt already. I might have put it in my pockets, no telling where it is. I spent like 30 bucks, okay? Thereabouts. And on preps, this is probably five to seven dollars worth of preps, to be honest with you. I said I was going to double up on prep, but um, you also got to live too, okay? 
So keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you like it. If you don't like it, hit the don't like button. Either way, vote. Vote that you do like. I'm trying to set you guys up so I can take this off. Vote that you do like or vote that you don't like. But either way, just vote. <laughs> um, you probably watched Queenie tonight. So we want to thank Queenie. Because we're going to premiere this tonight also. I want to thank Queenie for being with us and showing us how to can. We also want to thank all of you guys, the family members, for watching and joining us. And um, we just appreciate you guys you know, being down with the, the Chappelle household clan and our crazy. So as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you don't hear it for the rest of the evening or tonight or tomorrow or whenever you're watching this, we love you. You are great and you have great within you. So just make sure you be great, okay? Take care.